I tell you what, with my current hairline and outfit, you might think that I'm 20 to 30 years older than I am today. Thank goodness for no gray hairs yet. My goodness gracious. Now I got on my, as my brother informed me yesterday, my Mr. Rogers shoes and then my button down with no tie and I got my, my sweater on. I was walking around looking like a middle-aged man. I'm only in my 20s. But that's neither here nor there. Something I've noticed that kind of makes me chuckle only to keep me from crying is that uh, my students and middle school students in general are spending a lot of time on this app called TikTok. Now I have to tell you, I understood TikTok to be kind of like Dub Smash. If you're familiar with Dub Smash, it was popular about five or six years ago. And you would record yourself mouthing a line of dialogue or lyrics or something from a song or show or movie. And then you would, you know, lay over a certain filter or whatever you wanted to, and then uh, it would create the the video of you, your face, making, you know, expressions and mouthing the words to something that is, you know, not your content. That's what I understood TikTok to be was a lot like Dub Smash. Evidently, it's not, and I'm still not entirely sure what the purpose of TikTok is. Short videos about pretty much anything, kind of like what I'm doing here, uh, is the way that I understand it, but you can, again, lay over different filters and, and songs and music and animations and things. That's how I perceive it. Again, I don't totally understand it, but what is hilarious to me, and I use hilarious in an ironic way, ironically hilarious, is that the kids talk about this non-stop and they spend all their time on it. And on every single video I've ever seen from TikTok, the name of the app is on the video. In the bottom right corner, they include the, the logo of the app and the um, spell or the, the name, TikTok, which is T-I-K-T-O-K, TikTok. And yet whenever the kids write this, they don't spell it right. So how can you spend so much time doing something and not know how to spell it correctly or, or at least effectively communicate about it. It's odd to me. Um, and again, odd in a kind of harumph sort of way. <sighs> Observation is the key to success. I have videos about both, observation and success. Enjoy them. Um, but it relates, in a way, to life. How can you spend so much time doing something and not realize that you're making a simple mistake? Is there something that's going on in your life or a routine that you've established that you are blind to the details and simply going through the motions. Because that's what these kids are doing. They are blind to the details and simply going through the motions. They're not paying attention to the very thing that they themselves are invested in. Talk to you tomorrow.